<laughs> but that way you and I got to sit there and watch it. And then you said something very interesting to me. You go, how come you don't do jokes about like, you know, real stuff? Like about, <laughs> yeah, you said, yeah, you said about like, you know, I know how you feel about corporations or you know, politics, th things that you feel about, like st stuff that will change the world. Because I'm more, like kind of more meat and potatoes about my stand up. And I really went, oh, yeah. But then I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I know how to either. Yeah, you I do. remember, yeah, well, you do. yeah, but since I started working in the store, right. I realized that, you know, there's, there's, you know, you got to make people laugh first. <laughs> oh, okay. What a concept. <laughs> oh, at the concept. <laughs> well, no, I mean, but I mean, if you're going to yeah. be this comedian right. that I kind of, I kind of aspire to be, which is like saying something you know important yeah. or or i don't know saying like like telling people like this is what's really going on it still has to be so funny you know it can't be too heavy handed but can i just say something about you mm -hmm. is i i feel like i don't know this for sure but i feel like you avoided the clubs for a while mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now that you're playing the store which is a kind of a newer environment yeah because the quality of comedy i don't know if it's less or more or whatever, but it, it's different. It's good. It's good. It's pretty good at the store, but it's solid. You have regular people buying tickets. Yes. It's a different kind of crowd. Yes. And um, I feel like I've been Mr. Alternative. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to say that word. But, <laughs> yeah, but you you are a cool comedian. Yeah, but the comedy store has been very good for me because of that because I've had to like really look at just m making jokes like seriously and this isn't to kiss your ass but when I'm following you I'm like I'm in the back going oh my god because you get such big laughs and they're such well constructed jokes and I just go up there kind of going what did what is going on with <laughs> you fu and you like a bing, say, bing 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 and I, I'm like I, going oh my god I'm gonna uh, they're gonna hate but me but I'd rather what, have what you have you know what you have? Is that true? I'll be real. What do I have? Because when you go up, mm -hmm. the comedians come in to watch you. I've literally sat next to all of them really? to watch you when I go up. And I don't take this offense, but everyone leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? No, I'm, I'm, I'm being oh, well, I'm being. Real. I only think that's because they've seen you there for many years. It doesn't years, matter. They just, they've always left. <laughs> from day one yeah from day, day one, one they just leave uh, I also see they can be jealous no I see industry there like they go these producers are here for this and they're here to see the guy after you so I just make the assumption I go oh they'll see my act right and they don't and even as, see as soon that. as I walk up I can see them get up <laughs> they say and bye I, to you they no they don't say goodbye yeah. I just I, cause Bobby I, we're at bye. HBO Tim Thomas <laughs> Tim Thomas, HBO, we're going in the hall. We'll be back for the next act, though. Yeah, yeah. we're definitely we're gonna go take a shit now. It's our shit break. But I'm I'm pretty much the shit break for comedians or people in the industry. Uh, That's why I've never been to Montreal. I, I've never been to Montreal. Bullshit. I just said it. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, I'll tell you. Because I'm pissed off. I'm not there this year. But how many times have you gone? No, only only three times. So that hurts. Does it? It does. It shouldn't. It, it, it does because other guys have been there I, I, a thousand times. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that, but that's you have credibility in the comedy industry, and it yeah. makes me feel like that I don't. Really? Yeah. This is so funny to me. This is a classic <laughs> case of like insecure comedian, like like no. because I look at you. <laughs> And I'm like, this see. motherfucker gets movies. I know, I, it's, no, stop, no, stop, no. Stop, stop, stop for a second, okay? Let me just say this right now, okay? okay. I just said I've never been there. To Montreal. Invited. That blows, that blows my mind. You would have once. One time. One <laughs> Who is you repping think? you? <laughs> CAA, the biggest. <laughs> really? Yeah. And they ever got you to Montreal? Well, they do you say they, go, they, I want to go to Montreal to them? Yeah, and they go, you know what, What Bobby, do they say? They tape your sets, they air it over and over again. You don't want to go. Why? They try to make me feel like I don't want to go. Uh, Inception. You, you Inception, know how they do? They, yeah. they, they, they twist it. You don't want to go, you know. What are they telling you by they air it over and over? You mean it's not going to be good for you Well, they're just that? saying they tape your set and then yeah, they, they air it in Canada. You don't get a lot of money from it. Mm, you know right. what I mean? So, it's and all the money. industry people already know who you are. What's the point? Right. But for me, it's just about being a part of the club. Being a yeah. part. Of the, thank you, baby. That's a big. 
Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much, baby. You're very welcome. He's been crying about this for four years. For four years. Well, that's a big. I never went to Aspen. Me neither. What's an Aspen? They used to HBO used to have HBO a comedy Aspen. festival there. Oh, they used to. Yeah, and I was so pissed at that. Why? I've always been an outsider. How about oh, you? Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think you have been. But there's such a coolness in being an outsider. I think that there... Bobby's always wanted to be an outsider as well. Maybe. See that you're yeah. on the inside. Yeah, maybe. You think yeah. I am? You were, well, you, you, you were you a Mad TV guy. You were oh, a Mad really? TV guy, right? Yeah. That's that's the inside. That's isn't it? really. That, that's inside. How is that inside? That's fucking it's television network. Net, network. Yeah. Television show. I know, but the thing is, is that when you're in the inside, you realize that that's not really the inside. That's is, only the lobby area. Oh, so the, the outside's actually the inside. No, what's SNL, the inside? SNL, SNL is the inside. the inside. I hate that so you show. Walk in, I hate that show. Yeah. So you get that TV and go, I'm you, on the inside. I'm not. Why do you raining. hate that show, Eddie? <laughs> because it's been, I used to, when it first came on, I loved it. Mm -hmm. mm. I was like, fuck, this is, this is exciting. And it slowly died to the point of now where you ever hear the expression, of course you have, beating a dead horse. <laughs> yeah. They, they have taken the horse and fried it and made it in. <laughs> they, I mean, it doesn't work. It hasn't yeah. worked for years because what they do is they have, I, don't, I think Matt TV did this a little bit too. It's like, here's a character, here's a character, here's a character. I'm Al Sharpton. I'm the guy who that, and they never, <laughs> they never blend it yeah. into yeah. anything mm. good. They don't yeah. have a vision for this. Just sound pretentious, but they don't have a vision for the show. Yeah. It's just like I'm, I'm the mayor of, you know. They have like little celebrity impersonations, mm. and it's so, all this, yeah. Most of the sketches suck. Yeah. They had a little bump with the election and everything mm -hmm. and it was like this intense thing that right. they were doing this political thing and Melissa McCarthy was doing Sean. she's not even a member of the cast Melissa McCarthy's <laughs> doing Sean Spicer and they I had a, and now it's gone it's gone already yeah they were, it's already fucking gone it's yeah. not it's not a place for dissent right which it could have been yeah but they still it wouldn't of, be on the air but even when we I was on mad though they were still treated differently than us they had they it was yeah because no because when we would here's what would happen I know, we I know. would get off a mad like each one of us would be like, we're done I did eight years or whatever right and then we had to get back in line that's right yeah. where they got deals oh, that's and true. like here's a movie or you know whatever we were like oh I had to do first read so yeah no I hear you I can't believe that I well can't yeah believe I believe it it's no I believe it but I, what did it what is it is that Lauren Michaels pipeline. <laughs> it's that pipeline, right? Yeah. It's Broadway video. It's a machine. Yeah. 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 And he's yeah. been around for a very long time. And, and I have I, nothing against him. Well, I do. And I, <laughs> <laughs> like, you do. Well, I, I do. Hear, yeah, yeah. I do fuck them. You know, yeah. I, I, I feel like they, they're kind of the worst thing for American comedy. Oh. Wow. You hear me, Michaels? <laughs> <laughs> Michaels! <laughs> you never fucking gave me <laughs> any attention. <laughs> You prick. Yeah, your, uh. your product has been bland for 25 years or more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Eddie. And you know what? Can mm. I just say something? I just Sucks. had a they spiritual e experience just now. Just now? Yeah, because you don't you don't give a fuck. Well, I, I can't. Because I feel like if I say certain things, there are going to be consequences. <laughs> right? So I don't say them. Mm -hmm. Right? Are Whereas, you worried about consequences still? Well, if I say, <laughs> so, no, let me just say something. I'm, okay, I or I'm going to give an example. I was on a show called. It was a cartoon with Seth Meyers called yeah. The Awesomes. All right, I was a character on it. Okay. But when I first got it, Lauren goes because it's Broadway video. He, uh. he has to audition, and Seth Meyers is like, "No, I offered it to him." Right? Oh, and, good. Yeah, and Lauren Michaels goes, "No, I want him to read anyway." Oh. So then I said, "I don't want to do it." Good for you. I don't want to do it. And then two months later, right a week before we start doing it. Oh, you mean even though you said you don't want to do it. They said no. But then two months later, they were like, oh, God, give it to him. <laughs> right? So then I did it. And I was like grateful. Like, thank you. You were? Yeah. And They so, made you grovel a little bit. Yes. He is. What a power trip that fuck is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want him to read for it. Yeah, yeah. Instead of, mm. you know, he's a piece of shit. Well, and I say that with all due respect. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so much respect. Yeah, I mean, especially like eight years. I was on a sketch show, right? <laughs> Seth called me and said, "I want you on the fucking thing," right? And then he had to. So, 
you know, he has a lot of power, so I came. Myers has a lot of power. No, Lauren Michaels. Oh, well, I know that. Right, so I, that's what I'm saying is that what you just said is, I would like to say that, but I just never have said it. By the way, by you saying that, yeah. you just said it. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, Michaels, <laughs> he's with me. Bobby Lee, you know what he thinks of you. I'm not going to say it, and he's not going to say it. But know this. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, oh, buddy. No. Oh, he we just this? died. 